Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. Aisha Buhari has spoken again. Say what is thanks to fight this time. Aisha Buhari is one woman that is always remembered for her fight against corrupt element in her husband government. She has spoken against her odds by revealing her husband's strive to succeed in fulfilling his electoral promises. She stands firmly behind her husband in her ramifications and makes sure that her husband succeeds. In fact, if not for her presence in President Buhari's government, a lot of things would have changed in a negative direction. Kabas and her husband's government were identified by, by her and she has indirectly helped to fight them in her own ways. She has always spoken against issues that directly or indirectly come up to destabilize President Muhammad Buhari's government. Aside from being the first lady of Nigeria, Aisha Buhari is a women's rights activist and child rights advocate. She is not just an activist or ad advocate, but a vocal one. She leaves no stone unreturned. In matters related to women and children, she has spoken severally against unwarranted treatment on women and children. She is known for the, her fight against maltreatment against women. She has spoken severally, both local and international, against the maltreatment of girls' child and women in general. She has spoken against early and forced marriage, where girls of ages below 11 years of age are forced into marriage instead of ordering their educations. Fighting drug abuse is our next line of actions. Drug abuse has been perceived as the illegal and abnormal intake of drugs to the extent of damaging the image and emotional aspect of the drug abuse persons. This has rendered a lot of youth useless and irresponsible in the society today. Aisha Buhari has therefore stood against drug abuse as she described it as a multifaceted problem requiring, requiring a multidimensional approach which should aim at striking a balance between drug demand reduction and total blockage of identified channels of supplies if the ongoing campaign to eliminate drug abuse is to be successful she has embarked on a serious campaign to eliminate drug abuse in nigeria she has called on hot concerned personalities to join hands and eliminate eliminate this habit of drug abuse completely from the society Aisha Buhari used the opportunity of the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking to call on her to stand against drug abuse as she believes that drug abuse can happen to any family or community. She posted part of her speech on her Twitter handle which attracted a lot of people on Twitter to react to her tweet. Some of the reactions were captured below. So these are the reactions of people on her Twitter page. They said that I will appreciate if you practice what you say on media. 90% of your regions are down with drugs, especially glue and tramadol. And now you have sent them round page all over the country to kill for you. The only people who can kill for his master and mistress are people on drugs. The best solution to striking the drug abuse among youth is to provide a high quality education and good job among Nigerian youth because they are the leaders of tomorrow. That is the best thing. If these are our young ones, if they graduated and they get a very good job, I'm very sure that if not 60 or 70 percent of them will be focused on their on their job, they will not be thinking of drug trafficking or drug whatever. Talk they will not even be thinking about uh, Yahoo boys and whatever. You know, people were saying that sometimes when there is high poverty in the land, it changed the way of people reasoning. Which is true. The poverty in Nigeria is, 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 is too alarming. It's too alarming. And the poverty rate in Nigeria is affecting both the youth and the adults. That is the problem. You know, let's hear what people are saying about it. People are saying that Nigerians are saying that Aisha, fi your fight for women and children will not be complete until you fight for the release of Leah and Nigerians. 
see her out, then we will not believe. They said, if Aisha is honest, let her tell us her husband whereabouts. Stop deceiving us. We want to know who is an Asorok. Stop this your nonsense talk. No excuse for corrupt elements in Buhari's administration. Jonathan administration had those same corrupt people, but he achieved a lot. It is all about administrative skills and not by propaganda. Now, Aisha is ranting because she was blocked from gaining entrance into the treasury. She wants to place everyone around the villa under her control. You know, people were saying that, I don't know why we Nigerians reason the way we do. Did you know the character of this woman before her husband? Why must you judge her by, by her outcry? Forget about this woman. She may be the worst person. Try to do unthinkable, but, but it was, she was blocked. You know, Nigerians were just saying that he needs to come out and tell us who is in her Surak. He needs to come out and tell us. It needs to be she, she 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 actually needs to be plain in everything. And I suggest that Aisha Buhari should desist in contributing to some of the national issues that always attract abuses to both her and a president, Muhammad Buhari. You know, people, Nigerians are saying, sir, be sincere to yourself, Aisha. Start fight, start fighting against the lopsided appointment in your husband's government. Fight against nepotism. Scream and shout against rape. Ex-men, Boko Haram killings of which your husband is their patron. Stop chasing shadows. Do the needful. How can you say her excellency is something else? There are a lot of things that is happening in the country that is not supposed to happen. It, it, a lot of things is happening. But another thing that I can say about Aisha Buhari is that she has a lot of problems that she needs to settle in a matrimonial home. And those problems does not, is not supposed to be exposed in social media, which Aisha Buhari has been doing. Aisha Buhari says the problem women faces in their matrimonial home and was that was the husband does not even he, that is the reason why the husband does not even give her opportunity for their for the wife to control them. And that idea was not welcome in northern Nigeria. And that was what affected Buhari's government. For example, for him to be appointed it's entirely relatives which are uh, the the healers and those the and those other uh our own healers are the people that are disturbing and misleading president president muhammad buhari in aso rock a lot of things is happening in that government that we don't know everything so my viewers what do you think what is your own take about this your comment is highly appreciated and kindly drop your comments at the comment section. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news. Thank you so much. Always stay safe at this crucial time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.